how does our thyroid affect the rest of our hormones? In our last video, we talked about how hormones all interlinked and if one comes out of balance, it can affect others. And particularly we see this with the thyroid and our steroid hormones, which also include our sex hormones like uh, testosterone and estrogen. So what we have here is a snapshot of our mitochondria. And if you don't know what a mitochondria is, it's the energy producing structure in all of our cells. And this is actually where we produce hormones or steroid hormones in the body. So what happens is we have cholesterol. So cholesterol is super, super important for hormone production and we shouldn't overly suppress cholesterol. So cholesterol comes into the mitochondria to an enzyme called P450SCC and then gets converted to pregnenolone, which is the precursor to all the other steroid hormones in the body like cortisol, like um, estrogen, like progesterone, like testosterone. So a very, very important process that happens here. Now where the thyroid comes in is thyroid hormone or T3 really upregulates this uptake of cholesterol and conversion into steroid hormone. So if our thyroid is functioning properly, it helps with the production and upregulation of steroid hormones. So what we'll often see is if someone has issues with estrogen or testosterone, we often need to look further upstream to see, okay, why is that happening? And one reason can be poor thyroid function, whether that's from a lack of nutrients in the diet, from autoimmunity, from stress, from inflammation, um, all the other factors that can affect the thyroid. So what are the take homes here? Firstly, um, cholesterol is important for steroid hormone production for our sex steroids. Um, the thyroid can impact your sex hormones. And lastly, nutrition is vitally important in this process as well. So what we see here is the two membranes of our mitochondria. And the membrane, like all of our cells, is made up of fatty acids. So we, if we have a good balance of healthy fats in the diet, especially like omega-3s and the right balance of omega-6s, um, this membrane is going to be functioning optimally, which allows thyroid hormone and other things to get into the membrane properly um, to make this process happen. When we have poor fatty acid structure here, it's harder for this process to happen. So this is really where diet can really impact your hormones.